Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the code Peach Future in your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on Manage App and you'll be redirected to the Overview page. Under the Edit, Test and Go Live section, click on Edit. In your Edit App section, go to the menu on the top left and click on Add Future. In the Slide Out menu, click View All to see the list of features. Search for the code Peach Future and click on Add Future to add it to your app. You will now see the code Peach Future listed in the, in the My Future section. When you hover over this future, you will see multiple options like Hide Future, Edit and Customize Future, and Delete the Future. For more options, click on the Keep Up menu on the right and explore the options to move the future up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the Edit and Customize Future option to see how we can edit the future further. Here in the Edit Future section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the future in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the icon and this window will open up. Click on Select Icon, where you will see multiple options for icons, solid, and, and outline icons. In the Select Image section, you will see lo loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your app sheet future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon stand out. In the content section, you can add the code under Field Marked Body. You will see a preview on your app simulator on the right. You can enable or disable the app browser navigation support by using the toggle button here. Now that we are done with the content, content section, let's move to the design section. In the Page Style and Color Scheme section, you can click here to see the multiple background image options provided by AppyPie's platform, or choose a solid color or upload a custom image to be used as the app background. You can choose to use the same image for both portrait and landscape mode, or use different ones. You can also change other design elements like elements, colors from here. Next, go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable the in-app for your app with the simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can choose to use these credentials as global credentials. All the edits and changes will be saved automatically, but you can also save them manually. As soon as you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.